Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. Those who are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel immediately. So in this session, I am going to discuss about uh, the topic called uh, permutation and I will be solving one problem which will be helpful for engineering students, BSc students, for those who are attending uh, some external examination like uh, entrance examination. So this problem will be helpful for them. So this is what the problem I have taken. Find the number of permutations of the letters of the word engineering such that the question one, all E's together, G and R next to each other, all the vowels are adjacent, arrangements begin with N. This is what the question they have been given. So we need to find the permutation of arrangement of letters using the word called engineering. Instead of word engineering, they can also provide any word, sociological, mathematics, chemistry, English, any word can be asked. So from that you need to answer these kind of questions. So the given word is of the form E N G I N E E R I N G. It contains how many letters? It contains 11 letters. I am going to denote that value 11 by n. So n is equal to 11. So now coming to the first question, all the e's to be put together. Now out of these 11 letters, I need to put all e's together. So I have put considered all e's together. So when I am considering all e's together, it will be equivalent to one letter called x. I will name that as one letter called x x then how many letters are being left out here let us see that so whatever that triple e has been considered as x i have taken that the remaining term n n n triple n is there then 2g is there 2i is there one r is left out in the given word so therefore we have three n's two g's and i's and one each of r and x so therefore the permutation can be find out by using the formula the generalized formula n p n1 n2 n3 so on etc which is equal to n factorial divided by n1 factorial n2 factorial n3 factorial n4 factorial n5 factorial using that formula we can write as we have left out with here nine letters you can observe here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we are left out with 9 letters instead of 11 letters we are left out with uh, 9 letters so it can be written as 9 p 3 comma 2 comma 2 comma 1 comma 1 what is this 3 2 2 1 represent i have represented here we have left out with 3 n's 2 g's and i's and 1 each of r and x that has been represented here so which is equivalent to 9 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 2 factorial into 2 factorial into 1 factorial into 1 factorial simplifying using your calculator you are going to get the number of ways of permutation of arrangement of letters as the 15,120 ways this is how we can calculate the problem 1 now moving on to the second one G and R next to each other the next problem is what G and R next to each other so i have considered that g g r so it is considered as one letter so which is equal into x i will name that as x so now how many letters are being left out x n n n uh, triple e and double i this is the left out therefore we are having only three n's three i's two i's and one x so therefore the number of permutation is what as we have 9 letters here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, P, 3, comma, 3, comma, 2, comma, 1. You all understood how to write this 3, 3, 2, 1. It has been came with the left out letters that is 3, 3, that is 3 N's, 3 E's, 2 I's and 1 X. So which is equivalent to what? Which is equal to 9 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 3 factorial into 2 factorial into 1 factorial which is equal to 5040 ways. This is how we can extract but but there are 2 G's and 1 R. So G and 
together can be put G and R. You can note down here. I have missed here. G and R can be put together as follows. We can put as G G R. That is one way. Another way is G R G. That is another way. One more way I can go with R G G. This this is the three ways I can put. So probability can be taken as uh, the permutation can be taken as three P. 2 comma 1 which is nothing but 3p 2 comma 1 will be equal to three ways will be equal to three ways we can calculate by calculating we got that as three ways so finally therefore the required number of permutation is what multiplying this three ways with the actual value 5005 uh, 40 we are going to get 15120 This is not factorial. The just three multiply by three, you are going to get. So we can make these changes. Uh, it is not three factorial. It is just multiply by three. We are going to get five zero four zero into three will be equal into one five one two zero ways. So this is how we can calculate uh, the second problem. Moving on to third problem, we are going to consider ovals are adjacent. Ovals are adjacent. So you need to know what are all the ovals A, E, I, O, U. Knowing that here E and I are the ovals, I would consider that which is equal into what X, which is equal into X. The remaining letters are what? The remaining letters are X, N, N, G, G, R. So how many letters are being left out? We have left out with three Ns and two Gs and one each of X and R. Therefore, n equal to how much? Seven. N equal to how much? N equal to seven. Therefore, the problem can be written as seven p three comma two comma one comma one, which is equal to seven factorial divided by three factorial into two factorial into one factorial into one factorial. By solving this, we are going to get four twenty ways. But here we have three e's and two i's. This can Also be arranged in the form. It can be arranged in ten ways. How it is possible means we have how many letters here? How many letters are there here? Five letters. So it can be uh, considered as permutation of five p three five p three comma two. So solving that we are going to get ten ways. So multiplying this ten with four twenty, we are going to get the required permutation number of numbers. That is nothing but four thousand two hundred ways. Four thousand two hundred ways. Coming to the last problem, the arrangements begin with n. So we are going to consider the starting itself n. We have three n. Out of three, we can consider only one. So the remaining will be left out as it is. The remaining terms are denoted as follows. So therefore, we have three minus one. Three minus one will be equal to what? Two n's. We are left out two n's, three e's, two g's, and i, i's, and also one r. So therefore, the permutation is what? Thus, we are left out with ten letters. So n equal to ten. Considering that, in our mind, we can calculate the required number of permutation as ten p. Two comma three comma two comma two comma one, so which is equal to ten factorial divided by two factorial into three factorial into two factorial into two factorial into one factorial, which is equal to what seven five six double zero base. That is seventy five thousand six hundred base is the required answer. This is how we can solve any problem under permutation. So, we, which will be helpful for uh, for, for uh, some entrance exam and also for engineering students. So, I thank you all for watching this video. If you have any doubts, you can put a comment in my comment box, and I will revert back to your message. Thank you all for watching this video.